Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Rat here from Rat Tarot, and this is going to be Libra Sun, Libra Moon, and uh, Libra Rising weekly tarot and the Norman reading for uh, Nov uh, December 10th to December 16th, 2018. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again, guys, that uh, this is just a general reading for uh, Libra star sign, <clears throat> and it is not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I will try my best to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, and as well to give you some examples of how that could play out. But ultimately, at the end, it uh, forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I'm doing with the examples here in this video, then that will be a subject of uh, personal reading. And uh, for personal readings, please check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And also, um, as there are holidays coming, you know, uh, <clears throat> there is as well the um, Christmas special deal if I may express myself that way that simply reduces the prices of the 20 and the 30 minute star reading with me so uh, basically if you go for a personal reading and you want to save some money that generally is the way to go so that being said going to the tarot uh, to the tarot spread first so that is going to be uh, an enhanced tarot spread which means that we're going to take a look at multiple cards into one's position. These are the main cards for the four positions. Now the first one that is to be the Queen of Swords, which is the topic of your week, then followed by the Six of Cups, which is the core of the situation. Four of Swords here, it is about the challenges which are causing predicaments. And the last one that is to be the Page of Cups, which is the um, the guidance that Saro is offering. So, uh, <clears throat> the, just by the look of these four cards, there will be a breakthrough that you are to establish in your environment with your deeds and with your responsibilities throughout that week. But let's see, let's dive a little bit deeper into every single position uh, on its own. So the Queen of Swords, this is, uh, this is how you are going to take on that week. And the Queen of Swords, it is always uh, a very, how can I place it? Uh, very met met methodical with uh, how Queen of Swords uh, um, overcomes difficulties and predicaments. This card as a topic is associated with finding the the most of uh, sufficient way how you can deal, you know, either with your relationship or either with your career, usually established through obtaining information or uh, playing a certain scena uh, scenarios uh, until you how can I place it until you kind of like make it a uh, like a masterpiece right and um, so on and so forth the Queen of Swords I uh, in generally points that this week you will be able to push through what you will be able to push through well that depends again on to your personal situation the accompanied card with the Queen of um, Swords here it is the world card which adds a, a another color into the picture and it does point that you can additionally to pushing things through you can also improve things around this isn't only about you know pushing but also resolving issues difficulties uh, and reconciling relationships uh, bringing back to life of old projects uh, Reassess, uh, uh, resuscitating one's dream that previously have been left dry and etc etc so that is a, a very potent week where you can start anew or let's say restart projects relationships and activities of yours as well that again it depends on your personal situation now you need to know however that this time around you need to draw uh, draw from the poignant experience from the past in case you go to resuscitate relationships or, um, or projects or activities in general because um, what is to follow afterwards is going to be very similar to what you have uh, you had an, as a, an experience in the past and uh, <clears throat> 
as it is similar you will have the option here or not the opportunity in front of yourself to correct certain mistakes and wrong approaches that you have done in the past throughout that week so in case this is about reconciliation you know this time around you can take your precautionary measures in order that relationship does not be dissolved for the same reason that was being dissolved back in the past so this time around you are going to be well prepared for to take a defensive measure measures when they are need to i know that comes from the six of cups which in general it's a very positive card that is the core of the situation here and it points that uh, you will have uh, this advance forward or this breakthrough that you are to start um, exerting is uh, based on a, a very creative approach that you have recently um, applied or you have recently thought to uh, applying nonetheless this card is expressing how how much you are to start enjoying either your work or your projects in generally the activities that you are to be involved in throughout the week on top of that if we're talking about intimate relationships with the six of cups it does look like that if you are dating with someone or you do have a person of interest that card points that not just the physical connection is going to be on the line here but as well some emotional connection will start appearing in the picture and uh, with that again a, a breakthrough can be achieved like establishing relationships you know or if that is a old boyfriend or a girlfriend here coming back into the picture you know you can still resuscitate the emotional and the physical connection with them restarting the relationship itself so it does depend how you're going to again use those energies either you're going to use them to push through and make a breakthrough in a new uh, activities or to restart old ones well that again is entirely up to your personal situation the ace of cups the ace of cups here further strengthens the um the implication of the six of cups which is uh, saying that you uh, that the exhilaration of all this uh, participation of yours into uh, either on an old relationship or a new enterprise and etc etc is going to increase with its time so the more you work for it for that breakthrough or that restart of yours the more excitement and the more emotional satisfaction you are to start uh, experiencing throughout the um, throughout the advance or throughout the, the the process of reaching the end goal additionally this the ace of cups here with the six of cups points that um, that whatever opening for you to push through or to re uh, to <clears throat> restart a certain activity in your life is is most likely going to happen out of nowhere out of the blue because the ace of cups here it's um, it does express that kind of an event which are happening suddenly, as uh, surprisingly, and additionally to the Six of Cups, which is also could be taken as a card of purity and sincerity, points that there won't be any surreptitious um, circumstances behind uh, behind those events which are to allow you, you know, either to restart or push through or break through, you know, your... Um, your enterprises the fourth card here uh, the third card excuse me here which is the challenges which are causing predicaments that is to be the uh, four of swords and in that specific case it does expresses up the lack of need to um, to share with with peripheral people so um, you may advance forth without uh, having the need to consult yourself with your elders, with your friends, you know, or to ask for their opinion, and etc., etc., and uh, that could be a predicament to such an extent that you may find yourself, you know, a little bit, um, how can I place it, lonely along along the road because no one no one will actually know what you're doing. So if you don't want to find yourself with a lack of support throughout the parts of making that um, 
making that breakthrough or reviving in an old enterprise, an old uh, event. But I don't know how to say it. In my in my language, we do have a specific word for that. You know, here a relationship or or a project or career. Uh, it's kind of like a phase of your life. Okay, I will use the word phase. So if you want to resuscitate a certain phase of your life back again, uh, then <clears throat> and you want to know a, a and you want to have a support through that revival here, uh, then you have to share with the people around you. You know those that you count on, friends and family, and etc. etc. What you are planning to do. Now the four of swords also. Um, kind of incorporates the peace of mind and uh, that is to be challenging for you to maintain a peaceful mind and that is kind of understandable here because it is a, a time of excitement it is a time of emotional fulfillment here and a time of making uh, a big um, a big improvements through either a breakthrough or as i said through a, a revival of a, a sphere of your life and it is not as easy as one may think to maintain your calmness your poker face and uh, to kind of like uh, maintain to a bare minimum your expectations because in these kind of times everybody has a, a strong expectations for what is to come but again you best be objective for what results can be achieved additionally to it we do have the strength card and again this is a, another card of patience here because the strength card further supports and strengthens the uh, four of swords which simply tells you that you have to um, how can I say it? Persevere here through uh, through patience and through calmness of mind. Not to mention that we do have temper now into the equation. So you also need to tame down your temper. And uh, that on, the only thing here that really could be a very challenging is to restrict yourself from making a, a premature actions or taking a, a premature uh, decisions. Now we do have a little bit of a contradictory here because the strength card usually disregards other people's opinion but in the same time the strength threatens the uh, four of swords which uh, asks you to seek for other people's opinion and this uh, could regards to, to finding the right people of right opinion so these cards here are pointing that along the way there could be some misleading individuals of yours out of jealousy out of greed or just because they are indifferent to your situation etc etc and that why is important here as i said to uh, share your uh, your agenda with as much people as you can so you can collect as much opinions as you can and from collecting those opinions you are to see you know which uh, which kind of what kind of a strategy you should adopt in either to make your breakthrough here or to resuscitate a sphere of your life and the last card that we do have for you Libras this is the page of cups which is the guidance card so what the page of cups is pointing is uh, a couple of things the page of cups is all about being uh, creative again here as with the uh, six of cups so maintain your creativity all right be open minded be wise as well because the fish is a symbol of wisdom and of creativity as well but the page of cups points to that throughout that wisdom and creativity you are most likely to see what um what mistakes you did in the past again drawing from your poignant experience from the past and re-adopting a, a different position standpoints or trying different strategies toward the new goal of yours or toward the attempts of um, resuscitating a, a, a dead sphere in your life either that could be a relationship or a career project or a job uh, on its own so the page of cups here points the through realizing that there is a, a different much more smarter intelligent and wise way to approach your situation you know you are to start provoking a positive change in your life 
to find a job, to find a relationship or in simply to improve your personal circumstances. And the card that accompanies it, that is the Empress. <clears throat> now, uh, one thing I want to say here, uh, because the Empress come around, that is a little bit off topic. These couple of cards uh, as a combination, it may it may point as a guidance that you ladies or gentlemen or if you are in a family maybe the time for to make a child has come around a one of the most potent uh, combinations for pregnancy and having a child but this is just the guidance all right so the card guides you to have a child that maybe you need to have a child uh, <clears throat> from now on other than that if we go with the different strategy here concept of the cards the empress it is pointing that it is a, a crucial time for you to kind of define these new strategies because whatever you are to sown right now in this very week december 10th to december 16th either good or but its results are going to be reaped further into the future. Therefore, you need to be very accountable toward your actions. You have to be very, um, how can I place it, very mature as well, especially if it comes to interactions with different people around. And if you go for asking different opinions, you know, you should not be unyielding about your standpoint, but you should kind of listen to uh, these different opinions with um, with respect even if they don't suit you all right and etc etc on top of that these cards here are pointing that if you do have a decision to make throughout the week which i think that you will because we are talking about here uh establishing a breakthrough or resuscitating a um a dead sphere of uh, of your life and bringing it back again either reconciliation or a job and etc etc you are to have you are to make a, a decisions how to do it and you don't want to do it the way you have done it in the past because if you do it in the way that you have done it in the past the result was breaking all right so uh, and this time around you have to find a, a different approach and a different way to do it <clears throat> And we, following that kind of a uh, thought here, the Empress points with the Page of Cups points that you need to be much more wise and much more mature regarding what kind of a decisions you are to make and what kind of a choice you are to wait, to to take toward uh, toward those uh, um, enterprises. So, all in all, uh, this was uh, your Hatsar reading Libras, and it does look like that this is going to be a, a big week for you to make a, a significant progress forward. So, uh, if you do have goals that yet to accomplish, you know, and you're working for them, that is to be the week for you guys in which week you are to make a, a significant breakthrough or a progress. And uh, if you want to make a reconciliation uh, with an ex-girlfriend or with an ex-boyfriend, well, uh, this week is the week where you attempt to make a contact with them. So that being said, this was the tarot reading. Now let's see what the Lenormand cards are to say. We do have the uh, the tower. Now the tower is associated with government institution, uh, <clears throat> business and with isolation as well then we do have the fox the fox is associated with work is associated with clever mind is associated with cunning and is associated with lies as well and the last one that is going to be the stork now the stork is associated with delivery it's associated with uh, a new era or with a birth a further confirmation here of uh, that maybe some of you the guidance is to be that you need to start doing something to conceive a child but uh, all in all these cards reads as a uh, <clears throat> An isolation needs to be set aside for some of us, all right, through a, a clever way moving on forward, which will regard to uh, reconciliation, 
right? So you are isolated from one another and now through a, a clever approach of your behalf which further supports the Queen of Swords because the Queen of Swords is, is, it is a, a very clever woman or a very clever person should I say that way. A, a new year, a, a rebirth, right? Or a, a delivery of that relationship back again could happen. That is for relationship. If we're talking about business then we do have a lot of business work here are to be delivered to us that we need to establish breakthrough forth with and that could happen through a, a very um, creative approach as I said here with the core of the situation and in the same time consultation with, cons with consultants you know and in generally consulting yourself with those who are involved in it or those who have more experience than you into that field of, expert of expertise regarding your career. So that being said, guys, this was your uh, weekly tarot and Lenormand reading, Libras, for December 10th to December 16th, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And um, <clears throat> once again, this was just a, a general reading for um, Libra star sign, and it was not your personal reading. Therefore, in this video, I did my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread, but at the end, it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, just like I did here in the reading uh, with examples, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading, and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video, and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.